Hey everyone, if you're planning to take the GCP Associate Cloud Engineering Certification exam, in this video, I'll be sharing my entire journey of preparation and the resources that I used to successfully clear this exam. Stick around till the end, so you will be on your way to acing this exam too. So first, let's understand the significance of this GCP and the ACE certification and why, what having this ACE certification does to you. So GCP, Google Cloud Platform, is a leading cloud service provider. The Associate Cloud Engineering Certification validates your skill basically. So you can set up the infrastructure within your uh, organization, within the GCP uh, spaces, using the GCP services. So it's crucial for anyone transitioning to DevOps. So if you are also interested in DevOps, you can opt for this uh, certification as it helps setting up uh, CI CD pipelines, understanding cloud architectures contributing effectively in team discussions. It adds significant value to your uh, professional profile as well. So let's get into what does an associate cloud engineer do? So let's break down in everyday language, like what this person can do once you're authorized as the associate cloud engineer, what you can do. So they basically set things up. You can set things up like creating the environment where apps and services will run. That's number one and they make sure everything is secure so only the right people can access the system and uh, they deploy apps and services so this means uh, getting apps up and running on the cloud so others can use them they monitor how things are working uh, make sure uh, apps stay online and run smoothly and don't slow down and they also fix and improve things so if something breaks or needs to perform better they, they step in to maintain and uh, improve it so these are the things the associate cloud engineer can do as an associate cloud engineer. So what are the syllabus that one needs to learn? There are services that you need to learn such as compute engine, Kubernetes engine, cloud storage, cloud pub sub, cloud SQL, BigQuery, IAM, network product. So I don't want to get in detail of this. On a high level, uh, compute engines for creating and managing the virtual machines and Kubernetes engine for containerized applications, and cloud storage is for scalable storage solutions, and cloud pops up for messaging services. Additionally, understanding the use of cloud SQL and BigQuery for database management, and data analysis is crucial as well. And uh, IAM is for managing the permissions and securing access, and uh, network products is to configure your, let's say you have an uh, API in your on-premise and you wanted to connect that with the uh, API in your GCP. And also there are some service models using all the services that I've just listed. You need to know about um, which service model to provide for your organization. You basically are like a consultant here suggesting uh, which service that, that would suit for the project needs. For example, software as a service and then infrastructure as a service, we function as a service and platform as a service. These are the service models that you should learn. These are the high level topics that I just listed. However, make sure you go through the Google's uh, actual syllabus before you enroll for an exam because they always update their syllabus. But these are the major ones that you need to uh, understand. So let's break down the step-by-step -step process that I followed, basically my study plan to clear this exam. So step one, this was actually suggested by everybody who have cleared the exam. They suggested me to uh, block the exam date. It's, it's actually good that when you block the exam date, you don't procrastinate. There's no one to tell me that I need to take the exam on this day. That it's, it's not a college anymore. So you have to schedule a date. That's the first step. So I recommend two to three months. Depends on your time, the time that you can uh, provide for your studying. So uh, for me, I kept three months before the exam date. So I thought I'd be much relaxed in studying so that I don't rush. Step two is preparing the timeline. So since I said I, I blocked my exam two to three months ahead. So first month was mostly chill. I was just exploring the materials and uh, uh, doing studying here and there, skipping a few days. I, I did that and month two basically was more structured. I made sure I studied every single day for at least an hour and month three was very intense. I extended my study hour from one hour to two hours um, because uh, I need to be a little bit serious because month after that is going to be an exam. So I don't want to take any, any chances. So 
uh, I did an intense study. And uh, step three is choosing the uh, appropriate uh, study material. So here there are different parts many people have taken who have cleared the exam. Some took the online courses and some took the books. And I personally went with 18 hour Udemy course by Ranga Karanam. Uh, so if it's 18 hour, I just multiply that by two to block my time basically because when you read the, sorry, when you watch the video, and one minute video, for example, it takes five minutes at least to take the notes to understand the topic. Maybe you, you go to Google and I also use ChatGPT a lot and also Gemini for getting the analogy of each of the topic to retain that topic. And uh, in terms of hands on, Google gives $300 free credit you can use for your hands on. But there are some things that you need to be careful about. And number one is when you run the project, when you run your virtual machine, once your hands-on is done, make sure you turn it off. So the money will be taken out uh, from your uh, card. So otherwise, once the 300 free limit is completed, it will stop working. So that's the safest option. I was not ever about it. I activated it and I realized I had to uh, write a feedback mail to them to get the money back. So they did refund it, but it was a days of back and forth uh, messaging to them. So that's why I say uh, all this to avoid that. And finally, taking notes. Um, I took the um, note taking thing and I started uh, doing the analogy thing for each of the topics. So this is something I highly recommend taking notes before the exam. Notes is the only thing I did the uh, revision with. I can't go through all the videos. I cannot run all the videos and understand the topics again. You won't get the time. And even after you clear the exam, or if you don't clear the exam, notes are the only ones that you can revise. Even after months of clearing the exam, let's say you don't work on these topics and your work industry is separate than this GCPAs, after three, four months, if you look at your notes, you can easily recall what these topics are about. If you have written it on your own, if you have your own script about each topic, you can easily understand uh, what it is about. So note taking is the one I personally used OneNote and uh, uh, you, you can see I have also used analogy for each of the topics. So I, I highly recommend that. And also if I have any questions, I just do um, control F and look for that keyword and understand the topic. So I would recommend doing the same. And step five, basically it's, it's optional. If you want, you can take a break before your exam. You can take uh, uh, two to three days off or five days off. In my case, I did not utilize the first month um, that much, so I had to take uh, um, a five days off and to prepare. I prepare like five to six hours in a day during that time. And step six is very, very important. It's a, it's a game changer. It is practice assessment. Luckily, it was a coincidence. After I completed the 100% of that course, I came to know about the existence of this practice uh, assessments in the Udemy itself. So one best thing uh, this does is it helps you uh, prepare you mentally to answer those multiple choice questions because eventually you're going to take the exam so if you don't practice if you just study you don't know uh, how to face the exam what people also do is they just memorize the topics and they go give the exam but i don't think that would work in my case even though after i completed 100 percentage of the course it took me again i know it took me a few more hours to understand the topic even if you are taking the exam you suddenly feel like Oh, I studied this topic. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, what, how to answer it. So you go back, you pass the exam, you go back, revise your notes, and you get to know the the meaning of it. And then you come back and write the exam, or you complete the exam, pick all the failed ones, and then go back to your notes, revise it, and understand and retake the exam uh, to get the pass. But the mistake I did is I should have had at least a V to take this assessments because this course is the course I took was from Udemy by Siam. So it took about um, two and a half hours to complete the exam, two hours basically. But they had um, four to five assessments, but I managed to complete three. It was it was really helpful. Even if you complete 50 percentage of the course material, try to take the assessment and then uh, go back and understand each and every question. Right. That builds the confidence. Don't go just by memorizing. And finally, the exam day. I I choose to go to the test center rather than the home so it's up to you what happens after you're certified is that uh, you you get the confidence basically and uh, you will get the understanding of the gcp services like i am 
container kubernetes app engine compute engine networking and more and extends you outside of your comfort zone that's what it does it's, it's really good and final tip i would say is that assessment that's key and notes these are the two things i would suggest material you can go with any material that you prefer let's summarize step one book your exam date and step two choose the course or study material and step three take active notes and stay consistent and use uh, practice assessments and step six is review your notebook before your exam i'm pretty sure if you follow this 100 sure that you will clear your exam as well good luck